assuming that the world continues to develop, we can have 10 billion people living high energy, resource intensive lives. How much energy is the world gonna use? I spent the entirety of my professional career working for the big environmental groups. To actually believe in nuclear power was by definition to be a dupe. The atomic radiation issue in Tokyo from the nuclear power plant I at Fukushima Daiichi. Three Mile Island, Chernobyl. We don't want a radioactive wasteland, whether it's from a bomb or a nuclear plant. The nuclear industry is a death industry. It's killing people and will for the rest of time. I avoided looking at the whole picture and only looked at the questions that seemed to prove that nuclear power was dangerous. The whole nuclear business was started for a bomb. And I think that put the negative side on it. I'm against nuclear, but what if what I've been thinking all this time is wrong? We accepted most of the basic ideas of the environmental movement. We're all going to start using renewables. Go solar. It really took us getting clear about how big the gap was between fossil fuels and renewables for us to take a second look at nuclear. Having children has made me even more concerned about tackling global warming. I had a sneaking suspicion that nuclear was going to have to be part of the solution. Most people kind of think we're going to be reducing our energy consumption. Actually, we just find more and more uses for it. This isn't just something you can brush away. We can have a world living modern lives without killing the climate. Loving your children is about loving the future and loving the world that they're going to inherit. Can you be an environmentalist and pro-nuclear? In light of climate change, can you be an environmentalist and not be pro-nuclear? Thank you.